Hey guys, can you believe that September 1st is already tomorrow? It seemed like the year just started, but it's almost over. So I did these cute little decorations that I wanted to show you guys. So if you want to watch me plan my journal for the month, then keep watching. So I used this washi tape that I got from Michaels, and I'm just covering up the top section there, which has the month and it has the days of the week. I use these white labels here. I wind up not using this marker. It has a felt tip on the end, and that's not what I was going for. I use the Sharpie pen. It has a fine point to it, and I just wrote the days of the week on it, and I stuck it on top. Later on, you will see that I removed that September 2015 off the top of the page. So I made these cute little cupcakes and my little mouse, and I'm gonna show you guys how I made that. So first, I was looking for some stickers some um, music notes and I want to use that with the cupcake so what I did was googled digital stamps cupcake stamps and I found this and what I'm doing is just outlining it you can print them offline and it's already outlined it but my printer and my computer is not connecting so couldn't do that but once I finished doing everything I went ahead and colored them in I took some water and at this point you might want to use some watercolor paper you can use cardstock it's pretty thick um, and then you want to go ahead and just paint over it and what this is going to do is just blend the colors and make it feel like it's water paint so i went ahead and used this which is tape it's double sided and i got that from my local dollar store for 99 cents who doesn't love a bargain so Manny's sister birthday is on the 6th, so that's the reason for me putting this lovely cupcake there that I can't eat. And I added the music notes. By the way, our anniversary is on the 26th, so I'm excited about that. <laughs> so I went ahead and put this banner there because I wrote on a planner last month, so I wouldn't forget anything. And I wanted to cover it up because it wasn't cute. So I added this little thing here, it looks like flowers. I don't like it now that I've seen it, but it's okay. So I took off this banner here and I'm gonna put it with the little mouse and it says I love you on it. And I just take down the little mouse and I take down a banner and then I just wrote happy anniversary on it. I then added some hearts to it and then I colored them in red with the same water pencils that I've been using. I just didn't add no water this time. Now I need a section for my notes or little things I just want to jot down or foods that I want to make. So I took this sticker here and I just sat it in the corner. So now I'm going to use these folder labels and you guys know I just finished forever so my next five days is going to be a countdown to a period. I actually found these somewhere and they say activity on it so I just put it on the days that I want to go to the gym and then I realized like wait hold on you got too many days you're trying to go to the gym girl so I only put it on three days and then I put arrows next to it going down. So some of you guys was asking me how I made my little journal cards. So what I'm going to do is make something like that. It's going to be like a little dashboard for this month. So you need some card stock, some lamination sheets. I got the sheets from CVS, but somebody told me you could get them from your dollar store. So make sure you check it out. I'm using a white pencil to figure out where um, to line it up so it can fit inside the lamination sheets. I'm using my Martha Stewart paper cutter, but you can use scissors. This is just easier for me. And I'm using this, which round the edges. 
I got that from eBay and it took like four weeks to get here, but it was only a dollar and it's really convenient. So follow the instructions on your lamination sheets. I just took off, it told me to peel off the pieces and that was it. So you wanna make sure you have enough room on one of the sides so that you can poke holes in it later. So I moved my paper over as close to the edge as possible with still leaving some room to laminate the edges. I went ahead with my pen and I just marked some areas where the um, spiral was so that I can make exact holes. So yesterday I broke my hole puncher, yes. And I didn't go get another one. So bear with me while I poke holes with this broken thing. <laughs> So now you want to go ahead and you want to cut some diagonal slits into the holes so that it could fit in your planner. If you have a three hole punch um, planner then it will be the same thing but you won't need to cut slits into it. So now I have my owl post-its and I love little post-its for the month because I can just stick them on my journal, my journal, my planner and I don't have to really worry about messing up the pages. Or if I mess up the pages, then I can cover it with that. So now I'm trying to find something I can stick on the top there so I can just write um, my monthly goals in it. And since I was going for like an uh, animal theme, you can say, it was like a little animal on it. It was so cute. So I forgot that I didn't write September anywhere. So I decided to write out September, color it in with some of the water pencils. I did go over it with the water like I showed you before and then I cut out the letters after I let it dry. Then I took the letters here, I'm just playing with how I want them to look and I took some glue and I just glued them down to this paper. This is called stock and it came in a pack in Michaels, they was having to sell like 4 for 10 or something like that. So after I did that I went and I cut it out trying to give it a background so that's how it came out and now I'm just gonna stick it down on the paper it was so cute I really like it I think I'm gonna do that for every month it was so cute all right so I made a folder one of you guys was asking me how I made it so this is for you so what you want to do is take a piece of paper car stock is my choice of paper um, it's pretty thick and what you want to do is take a piece of paper out your planner and you want to place it on top so that you can poke holes in it now what you want to do is take your pen on paper your pen and you want to make holes or dots where you need to put holes in it does that make sense okay and then you want to do the same cutting like we did before in a diagonal manner and it doesn't matter how close you poke the holes because you're going to cut into it anyway. So I took this black and white cardstock and I just measured out how I wanted it to look. I took the ruler and just measured up everything and then I wound up cutting it out. You do need two pieces of the cardstock because you need to be able to make both sides of the folder. So I went ahead and cut this out. I went ahead and glued it down. All of my cardstocks are double sided. <laughs> and I really didn't like this pattern, so it was fine. Um, I would advise you to use a regular glue stick and not to use this one. It took so long to dry, and my paper was kind of like crumbly on the other side. So, yeah, didn't really like that. And it doesn't make sense to poke holes in the beginning until you actually finish this step. So, yeah learn from me and make sure you put too much glue because you still want to be able to put your papers inside of the, the flaps here then I put went ahead and put it in my planner I made this like two days ago so yeah guys I hope you enjoyed this video leave it below and let me know what you're doing this month are you guys gonna have exciting days family vacations what are you doing